Hey everyone, it's Paul, and it's time for another episode of Cool Tips, Paul. Today we're going to get a little naughty. You know, like actual knots. We're going we're gonna to use some strings. These are the eight knots that every person should know, but you probably don't. Or at least you don't know the names. Let's get into it. Number one, the overhand knot. The overhand knot is the simplest knot to do. It is the right over left, right over left. We're used to doing this one. This is the knot that we use to start tying our shoes. The second knot is called the granny knot in which we form two loops and we do the exact same thing, right over left. This is the way most of us learned how to tie our shoes. The problem with this knot is as you can see, the tails want to be perpendicular to the loops. Okay, and this is indicative of the granny knot. It's a decorative knot, but it doesn't have much strength. So it's always gonna come undone. And this, if you tie your shoes and you notice that they're coming undone a lot, it's because you've tied a granny knot. Again, that was right over left and then right over left again. To do a square knot, which is our third knot that we're gonna go into, you're gonna go right over left and then left over right. So we've already done right over left, form our two loops, and then we're gonna go left over right and then pull it nice and tight. Now you'll know that it's a square knot when the loops and the tails are parallel to each other as opposed to perpendicular. They're parallel, that means that they will not come undone. They're a tighter knot and they will not loosen over the course of the day. So that is number three. Now the number four knot is called a clove hitch. Okay, and a clove hitch is one for holding on to a pipe or something that's round like this uh, without slipping. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start with the rope underneath, and then we're gonna bring it up and cross the other line so we see this nice little X here. Do you see that beautiful X? Then we're gonna take our little tail here, hello, and we're gonna go underneath that X, just like so. And as we pull it, you'll see that we have the X there and we've gone underneath it. As we tighten this down, it's gonna grip that pipe really, really tightly without rotating, okay? This is one that we use on round surfaces to make sure that it does not slip. Problem is, is this knot does not stay secure without a, our number five knot here, which is called the half hitch. So we're gonna take this little tail here, we're gonna pull the other one nice and tight up in the air. We're gonna take this little tail and we're gonna go around it and through and pull down. That is a half hitch, but you always do two half hitches even though it's not called a whole hitch. So you're gonna go around, through, and pull tight down. And that is two half hitches, just like that. And that is how we secure our knot with our clove hitch. We finish it with two half hitches. All right, the sixth knot that we're going to do is called a bowlin. This one's often referred to as the bunny rabbit knot, and that's because we do this nice little rhyme that goes with it so that we can remember how to do it. If this part of the tail of the line is going up, hanging somewhere, it's the longer part of the line, we're just gonna leave that kind of draping there. On the bottom part of it, the shorter part of it, we're gonna form a loop, okay? We don't want the loop to be loose so that it falls away from it. What we wanna do is we want the loop to go over the line so that when we let go of the, the rope, it stays that loop, like there. This is called the rabbit hole, okay? The bottom part, the end of the tail here, this is the rabbit, okay? And then the part that goes up the longer part of the line here, that's called the tree. So as the rabbit goes up through the hole, it wants to go around the tree and back down through the hole. And if it does that and we pull it nice and tight, that creates a bowline, which is a self-tightening knot that keeps the same diameter, okay? So no matter how we tug on this, whether it be on this side or this side or the third side, Whatever side we pull on, it's always going to tighten itself down so it won't ever slip out. It'll always maintain its same diameter in the loop here. And uh, it's a self-tightening knot. It's really good for strapping things down. Now, to get rid of a bowline, to untie it, you'll notice that we have this loop at the top here. If we take this loop and we push it forward, it's going to release the bowline, and then we can untie the whole thing really quickly. And there we go, we have our line uh, free again. So if we were to do it around something, it would be a similar situation. We have the taller line that goes up, one by my face here, okay? So from that side, we wanna create the hole. So we wanna create a loop, again, so that the tree goes up and the loop is self-holding. This is the tree, this is the rabbit. It's gonna come up through the hole. It's gonna go around the tree 
as you can see there, around the tree, and then back down through the hole. And then as we tighten it up, we have the Bolin knot there. Okay, so that is the Bolin knot. That is knot number six. Okay, the seventh knot that we're going to do is called the trucker's hitch. And this is one that we use for securing cargo down on your car, your truck inside the back of a van, however you wanna make sure it stays nice and secure, you're gonna use what's called a trucker's hitch. So to start, you wanna have one line already tied down, okay? That's gonna be typically done with a Bolin knot because it's a self-tightening knot. So no matter how much we pull on that, it's not gonna come undone. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to loop it around the other side that we wanna tighten to our secure our line down to. Now, when we wanna cinch this down, we need something that we need to be able to cinch it to. So we're gonna use a trucker hitch. So we're going to grab the line that we're trying to cinch to, we're gonna fold it in half like that. And then we're just gonna tie an overhand knot into it. That's the very first knot that we did where we just push this loop through the hole and we've got ourselves this, which is called a trucker's hitch, okay? It's a little loop that's inside the line. Now what we can do is we can feed the end of the rope through that little hole that's in there, that little tail that's in there, and then we can pull it nice and tight. And this is the cinching action that we're looking for. This is gonna cinch our knot down really, really, our cargo is gonna cinch it nice and tight. Now to secure it, what we wanna do is we want to pinch where it goes through the hoop here. We wanna pinch that line there. That's gonna keep the tension on the line. And then we wanna finish it with two half hitches where we go around the line and we go through and we pull down. We go through and we pull down. There we go, two half, inch, half hitches. And that secures this nice tight hitch, the trucker's hitch. Now when we wanna be done, all we have to do is untie our two half hitches that we put in the line and then it releases the tension on the cargo, and then we can just go in here and untie the trucker's hitch, and we haven't damaged the line at all. And then we've got the bowline left to untie, which we know how to undo by just pushing down that loop that's in there, and the whole knot comes undone. Number eight is a stopper knot. It is called a figure eight knot. And what it is, is it's a simple overhand, but instead of going once, we're gonna go twice through the loop. And this is a stopper knot. This is a knot that allows you to have a, a nice knot at the end of the rope so it doesn't come undone. It's good for using on your hoodies. If you don't want your hoodie string to uh, shoot through your uh, hood and come out or around uh, a, a waistband or something like that. So what we're gonna do is we have our loop here and we're gonna go through the loop once, twice. And then as we start to pull it, you'll notice we formed an eight, a number eight. And as we pull it nice and tight, it creates a finish knot, a nice little knot at the end. And there you have it, eight knots that every person should know, but you probably didn't. Those are some pretty cool tips, Paul. Remember to work smarter, not harder, and hopefully you guys learned something today. I'll see you guys next time.